It's about a star, the tenth brightest star in the night sky. It has a name that I'm not going to be brave enough to, to try and pronounce, but you might. Apparently it's become 50% brighter. The night sky is about to be set ablaze as Betelgeuse, the red supergiant star, readies itself for a dramatic and explosive transformation. A cosmic spectacle of epic proportions, the Betelgeuse supernova explosion is all set to take the night sky all over the world. This impending supernova and the mysterious dimming of Betelgeuse may finally be explained. Hold on to your telescopes as we explore recent eye-opening revelations that will change the way you gaze at the night sky setting the cosmic stage. The night sky, adorned with myriad stars, has been humanity's timeless canvas of curiosity and awe. Every twinkling point of light tells a story, a tale of celestial magnificence. As we cast our gaze upon the vastness of the cosmos, we stand in awe. These stars are not mere specks of light, but cosmic giants that have graced the heavens for eons. They hold within them the secrets of the universe, waiting to be unraveled. Among the countless stars that adorn the celestial tapestry, one stands out, captivating our imaginations with its luminous brilliance. Betelgeuse, a name that resonates through the ages, is a star that takes center stage in our night sky. Nestled within the constellation Orion, this cosmic titan is positioned approximately 650 light years away from Earth, which roughly makes out to be 6 quadrillion, 150 trillion, and 650 billion kilometers. For perspective, a quadrillion has 15 zeros. Classified as a red supergiant, it belongs to one of the largest and most massive categories of stars in the universe. Its size dwarfs our own sun, making it a stellar giant of unparalleled proportions. Plus, Betelgeuse's enigmatic behavior and distinctive characteristics have intrigued astronomers and stargazers for centuries. It has been the subject of countless observations and studies, making it a star with a celestial identity that continues to mystify and inspire. Also, considering the vast distance when we peer at Betelgeuse, we are essentially gazing back in time due to the finite speed of light. Light, despite its remarkable velocity at approximately 300 million meters per second, requires significant time to traverse the vast expanse of space. In the case of Betelgeuse, the light reaching our eyes today began its journey over six centuries ago. This brings forth a remarkable paradox. The events we presently perceive in the night sky occurred many centuries prior. The light we currently receive from Betelgeuse commenced its expedition towards Earth during a time when the Renaissance era was dawning. With each observation of Betelgeuse, we are, in essence, delving into a cosmic time capsule, allowing us to unravel the story of a star from centuries ago. In any case, the stage is set, and the cosmic spotlight is firmly on Betelgeuse. As we delve further into the heart of this celestial giant, we'll unveil the story of its great dimming, this mysterious episode of dimming can now finally be explained. The captivating story of Betelgeuse's great dimming. The sudden dimming of Betelgeuse stirred a celestial commotion that echoed across observatories worldwide. This captivating cosmic event, which played out between October 2019 and early 2020, presented a stellar enigma that set astrophysicists and stargazers on a quest for answers. The great dimming, as it was called, was no subtle affair. It was a stark departure from Betelgeuse's usual luminosity patterns. For those who gazed at the night sky, the change was evident even to the naked eye. It sparked intriguing questions about the star's immediate state and its cosmic destiny. The primary inquiry that took center stage among astronomers was whether this dimming was a prelude to Betelgeuse's long-anticipated supernova explosion. Red supergiants, such as Betelgeuse, are renowned for their inherent variability and brightness which is considered a natural facet of their existence. However, the magnitude of this event was extraordinary. As news of Betelgeuse's mysterious dimming spread across the scientific community, various hypotheses began to take shape. Some suggested that a colossal outflow of gas and dust from the star's surface might be responsible for the observed dimming. This hypothesis painted a vivid image of a star in turmoil, casting off its outer layers in a celestial spectacle. 
Other scientists contemplated the possibility of a massive, cool spot on Betelgeuse's surface, envisioning a region where temperatures plummeted, leading to a notable decrease in brightness. Amid this celestial drama, a global coalition of scientists, led by Kenichi Nomoto from the Kavli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe, took up the mantle of discovery. Their investigations led to a remarkable revelation. They concluded that Betelgeuse may be smaller and closer to Earth than previously believed. The team also posited that the dimming event was instigated by a dust cloud. The universe, it seemed, had more surprises in store than we had ever imagined. At the same time, astronomers under the leadership of Hideyuki Sayo at Tohoku University in Japan offered a novel perspective on Betelgeuse's rhythmic pulsations. This star, with its own celestial heartbeat, continuously oscillated between expansion and contraction, accompanied by fluctuations in brightness. The star's luminosity followed a predictable cycle of approximately 420 days, attributed to the cyclic swelling of its outer envelope. As the curtain on this celestial drama gradually fell, Betelgeuse's brightness returned to normal levels. Yet this cosmic enigma left astronomers and stargazers with more questions than answers about the ultimate fate of this stellar wonder. One such query was related to a drop in the temperature that was observed in this period. Researchers working on Betelgeuse discovered phenomena akin to the sunspots on our own sun. These star spots on Betelgeuse could also have been related to the observed temperature drop. These star spots are regions on the star's surface where temperatures plummet. They act as cosmic anomalies, influencing the star's radiative output. Much like their counterparts on the sun, these cooler areas in Betelgeuse's magnetic field can indeed have a profound impact. The fluctuations in Betelgeuse's magnetic field, influenced by the presence of these star spots, temporarily may have blocked radiation emanating from the star's core. This interference thus resulted in the observed temperature drop during the dimming period. It's a celestial dance of cause and effect, where the intricate interactions on the star's surface play a pivotal role in its overall luminosity. The implications of these discoveries extend far beyond Betelgeuse alone. They offer profound insights into our understanding of red giants, a class of stars known for their exceptional size and the critical roles they play in the universe's heavy element production. Red giants, like Betelgeuse, are stellar forges where elements heavier than helium are born. These elements, often referred to as metals in astronomical terms and their formation in red giants, is a fundamental process that contributes to the chemical makeup of the cosmos. By identifying the influence of star spots on temperature fluctuations and radiation blocking, in general, astronomers can gain a deeper comprehension of the intricate mechanisms at play in red giants. In any case, the dimming of Betelgeuse, accompanied by a temperature drop, sparked a vibrant exchange of ideas and theories within the astronomical community. And there's an all-new revelation that's set to change everything we think we knew about this red cosmic supergiant. But for now, let's take a look at the implications of this great dimming. Is the dimming of a star related to supernova? A star's dimming can indeed be a natural part of its life cycle and may have various underlying causes. A supernova is a specific and cataclysmic event that occurs when a massive star reaches the end of its life. Interestingly, there are some historical and theoretical connections between dimming events and the potential for a supernova. Many stars that eventually go supernova spend a phase of their evolution as red supergiants. During this phase, they can experience variations in brightness, including temporary dimming. This is due to complex processes occurring in the star's outer layers, such as pulsations and changes in convection. Some astronomers have been interested in monitoring red supergiants for signs of impending supernova. The reasoning is that when these massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel and are on the brink of a supernova, they may exhibit unusual behavior. However, such predictions are challenging, and not all dimming events in red supergiants lead to supernova. A star's dimming can just as easily be a part of the star's natural variability, and in the case of Betelgeuse, we're not absolutely sure if this is the case. At least, not for now. Detecting an impending supernova remains a challenging and uncertain endeavor. But let's say if this dimming was indeed related to a supernova, this brings us to another important question. 
Can a star come back to life from the verge of a supernova? Let's assume that the Great Dimming was tied with an impending supernova. If so, did Betelgeuse just come back to life from the verge of a supernova? Is that even possible? Well, hate to break it to you, but the answer is no. Once a massive star reaches the point where it is on the brink of a supernova, it has essentially exhausted its nuclear fuel and undergone significant changes in its core. These changes make a supernova inevitable, and there is no known natural process that can reverse this progression. A massive star begins its life as a main-sequence star where nuclear fusion in its core converts hydrogen into helium. This process provides the energy that supports the star against gravitational collapse. As the star's core runs out of hydrogen, it contracts and heats up. This leads to the fusion of helium into heavier elements like carbon, oxygen, and beyond. This phase continues with the formation of heavier and heavier elements until iron is produced in the core. Iron is unique in that it cannot release energy through nuclear fusion. Instead, the iron core continues to contract and accumulate mass. When the iron core reaches a critical mass, known as the Chandrasekhar limit, it can no longer support its own gravitational forces. The core collapses rapidly, causing a supernova explosion. This explosion releases an enormous amount of energy, outshining entire galaxies for a brief period. The energy released during a supernova is so immense that it obliterates the star, leaving behind a dense remnant such as a neutron star or, in the case of extremely massive stars, a black hole. Once a star has reached the point where iron core formation is underway, the star's fate is essentially sealed, and the supernova will ultimately occur. So if any dimming gets reversed, that's because it was not associated with a supernova. And with that in mind, let's move on to a more rational explanation for what happened. Scientists have unveiled a new revelation. While there have been several competing ideas and hypotheses attempting to explain the great dimming, the most recent findings offer a more rational and comparatively simpler explanation. A team from France's University Côte d'Azur captured high-resolution images of Betelgeuse during a pivotal period from December 2018 to December 2020. Armed with the powerful Matisse instrument on the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope Interferometer in the remote expanses of northern Chile, they recorded the events that unfolded during the Great Dimming. Fast forward to October 2023, the team presented a groundbreaking theory, one that brought forth an unexpected twist in this cosmic tale. It was a veil of dust, like a ghostly shroud, that had concealed Betelgeuse's radiance from our view. This dust, composed of silicon monoxide, had been spewed forth from the star itself, masking its brilliance. They also concluded that this stellar dimming was not a harbinger of doom, but a natural phenomenon, linked to a sudden cooling of the star's surface. These revelations also supported a theory from a 2021 study, suggesting that Betelgeuse had experienced a celestial burp as gas erupted from its surface due to a dramatic drop in temperature. This resulted in the formation of solid dust, which encircled the star like an ethereal cocoon, casting it in shadow. Interestingly, the dust clouds that form around such celestial giants can eventually give birth to new star systems altogether. Will we see Betelgeuse go supernova? Let's not forget the elephant in the room, the impending death of this celestial giant. The question of whether we will witness Betelgeuse go supernova is a matter of both cosmic anticipation and patience. Betelgeuse's great dimming had astronomers and stargazers on the edge of their seats, speculating whether it was a precursor to the long-anticipated supernova. However, it is important to note that none of this is actually happening. All of this has gone down in the pages of celestial history. We're late for the show, and thus only able to see what has happened centuries prior. The event we witnessed in 2019 occurred more than 600 years ago in the life of the star. As of now, Betelgeuse has returned to more typical levels of brightness, suggesting that the moment of its supernova may still be in the distant future, centuries or even millennia away. The unpredictability of stellar life cycles leaves us with the possibility that we might indeed see Betelgeuse go supernova someday, but when exactly, we can't say. 
Most researchers are leaning toward the belief that Betelgeuse is still basking in the brilliance of its helium-burning phase. This exciting perspective hints at a grand cosmic performance that is yet to unfold, paving the way for a supernova of epic proportions. And the evidence? Studies from Hungary's Konkali Observatory, led by Kenichi Nomoto from the Kavli Institute for the Physics and Mathematics of the Universe, lend their support to this enthralling scenario. But hold on to your cosmic seats. There's an electrifying twist. Dr. Hideyuki Sayo brings forth an alternative theory. According to this daring perspective, Betelgeuse might currently find itself amid its carbon-burning phase, a stellar ticking time bomb that could implode within mere decades, not hundreds of thousands of years. The time difference is staggering. Yet amidst these cosmic crossroads, one certainty shines brighter than a thousand suns. Betelgeuse is indeed poised to become the Milky Way's next supernova sensation. Whether the show unfolds in slow motion or with the cosmic speed of a shooting star, the night sky is about to be graced with a celestial spectacle of epic proportions. Get ready, Betelgeuse is about to steal the cosmic spotlight. When Betelgeuse eventually reaches the end of its stellar journey and goes supernova, it will be a breathtaking and transformative event for the night sky. The explosion of a red supergiant like Betelgeuse is a cataclysmic process, resulting in a supernova, one of the most energetic events in the universe. Here's what we can expect. The supernova will release an intense burst of neutrinos, nearly undetectable subatomic particles, which will reach Earth before the visible light from the explosion. Of course, this won't be much earlier than the actual spectacle. As for the spectacle, the supernova will be a sight to behold, unlike anything ever witnessed by the human eye. This cosmic explosion will unfold in two distinct phases. At the moment of the supernova, Betelgeuse will suddenly blaze with unprecedented brilliance, outshining the moon and even becoming visible during the daytime. This initial burst will be visible to the naked eye from Earth and it will cast its radiant glow across the night sky like a second temporary sun. As the days turn into weeks, the supernova will undergo remarkable transformations. It will change in both color and brightness, creating a celestial light show that captures the imagination. This evolving spectacle will provide stargazers with a unique opportunity to witness the celestial fireworks up close. The aftermath of the Betelgeuse supernova will be a celestial masterpiece that will continue to shine brightly for some time. Astronomers and stargazers will have a front row seat to a breathtaking display of nature's awesome power and it will be an event etched in the collective memory of humanity for generations to come. The star will take one of the two possible routes for a celestial body that goes supernova. In any case, the spectacle of Betelgeuse's supernova, when it eventually occurs, will be a rare astronomical event to say the least. What happens after a star? Like Betelgeuse goes supernova? As we stand on the precipice of the Betelgeuse supernova explosion, we find ourselves in a unique position in the annals of cosmic history. What will become of the star? Well, in one possible scenario, the core of Betelgeuse may collapse, giving birth to a neutron star, an incredibly dense and exotic object. Alternatively, Betelgeuse's core may become massive enough to form a black hole, shrouded in an event horizon from which no light can escape. A neutron star is incredibly dense, packing about 1.4 to 3 times the mass of our sun into a space roughly the size of a city, typically around 12 miles or 20 kilometers in diameter. Neutron stars are composed almost entirely of neutrons, the subatomic particles found in atomic nuclei. A black hole, on the other hand, is incredibly dense and has such a strong gravitational force that not even light can escape from it. This makes them appear black in the night sky as they do not emit any detectable radiation. Which fate will Betelgeuse take remains to be seen. Studying Betelgeuse and its impending supernova is not merely about witnessing a spectacular event, it's about unraveling the complex processes that govern the life and death of stars. The insights gained from this celestial phenomenon will contribute to our understanding of stellar evolution, element formation, and the dynamic nature of our universe. Betelgeuse serves as a unique laboratory in the vast cosmic theater, offering us a front row seat to one of the most energetic events in the cosmos. 
In the grand cosmic theater, patience is our virtue. Beetlejuice, though unpredictable in its cosmic timing, reminds us of the profound mysteries that await our discovery in the night sky. As we await the Beetlejuice supernova explosion, we remain vigilant and curious, knowing that when the moment arrives, it will be a cosmic fireworks display that transcends time and space, leaving an indelible mark on our understanding of the universe. Until then, we continue to look up, gaze into the depths of the night, and await the grand finale of Beetlejuice's stellar journey. Thanks for watching. Don't miss this video you see on your screen right now. It's truly unbelievable.